Welcome. In the last video, we learned how to write a simple motion detection algorithm using OpenCV. Even though our program was working very well, but still there was a big limitation that if any change occurred in the lightning condition, then our program will fail. So this time we will see a better way to detect the motion. So let's start writing the code. Now first of all, I will import the OpenCV library. Now make sure that it is already installed in your system and if it is not installed then go to the terminal and write there pip install opencv python and then press enter. But because it is already installed in my system so I am not going to install it again. Now let's come back and now I will load the video file. So first of all let me show you the video file. And this is the video file I have and here we are going to detect the motion of the moving vehicles. So let's come back to python file and here I will create an object of video capture class. And now I will provide the name of the video file. Now after it I will use a while loop to access the frames from my video and inside it I will write img equals to cap dot read. Now this should provide me the frames from my video so I will check whether I get the frame or not. So I will use an if statement and check if I do not get the frame then I will simply break the loop. Otherwise I will display the frame on the screen. And after it I will give some waiting time. So I will use wait key function and at the end I will release the capture object. So I will write cap.release and then I will destroy the window. So I will use destroy all windows function. Now I think everything is fine. Let's run the code. Now you can see that our program is displaying the video. Let me close this. Now first of all I will like to resize the frames of my video because there is no need to process the larger frames. So I will use resize function and then I will provide the frame and the size of the frame which I want. Now let's run the code. Now you can see that the frame has been resized. Let me close this. Now the next step is to detect the motion from our video. And the technique we will use is the background subtraction. We will make an assumption that if any change occur in the video, we will consider it as foreground and the rest will be our background. So we will use an algorithm which is known as background subtractor mock2 provided by OpenCV library. So I will create an object of this algorithm. And then I will provide an optional argument which is detect shadows and I will set it to true. Now if you set this value to false then it is not going to detect the shadows of moving object but because I want it to detect so that's why I have set it to true. Now the next step is to generate the foreground mask from our video. So here I will write foreground mask equals to background subtractor dot apply. And then I will provide the frame as argument. Now let me show you the foreground mask which we will get. So I will use I am show function. 
and then I will provide the name to the window and then the foreground mask. Now let's run the code. Now you can see that this is the foreground mask which we are getting but there is a lot of noise and of course we need to remove it. So let me close this. Now uh, just after finding the foreground mask I will apply the thresholding. So here I will use the threshold function and inside it I will provide the foreground mask and then the threshold value as 150 and the maximum value as 255 and then I will specify the thresholding type as binary. Now after this I will apply the erosion. So I will use erode function and this will take two arguments. The first one is the threshold image and the second argument is none. Now let's see what the result we are getting. So let's run it. Now you can see that the noise has been removed but it has also affected the motion detection as well and we need to fix it. So let me close this and here I will apply the dilation to fix this problem. And inside it I will provide the thresholded frame and then I will write here none. Now let's run the code. And now you can see that the detection is much better than before. So let's close this. Now the next step is to find the contours. So here I will write contours, comma hierarchy. And then I will use the find contour function. And this will take three arguments. The first one is the thresholded frame. And the last two arguments are the Algor algorithms which will be used to find contours. Now after finding the contour I will pick them one by one so I will use a for loop And inside this for loop, I will find the bounding boxes for each contour. And here I will use the bounding rec function. And this will take one argument which is the contour. Now after finding the bounding boxes, I will draw them on the frames of our video. So I will use the rectangle function and inside it I will provide the frame and then the coordinates of the rectangle. And then I will specify the color of the rectangle and in the last I will provide the thickness of the rectangle. Now let's run the code. Now we can see that the detection of motion is not perfect because there is a lot of noise. But we can fix this problem as well. So let me close this. Now inside the for loop I will first of all find the area of each contour. So here I will write area and then I will use the function called contour area.
and inside it I will provide the contour. Now I will check if any contour area is less than 1000 then I will simply ignore it otherwise I will draw the bounding rectangle for that contour. So I will put this line inside the if statement. Now let's run the code again. Now you can see that the detection of motion is much better. And this is how we can detect the motion using background subtractor mock to algorithm. It is not perfect but it is still better than the previous method. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.